Hey guys, what's up? Daniel here with Dark Edge. Today we're unboxing the 27 inch iMac with the Retina display. Now this retails for $2,500 and this is the base model. So it has the uh, eight gigabytes of RAM, the one terabyte fusion drive, and then the two gigabytes of video memory. We're gonna go ahead and open it up and uh, check it out. So I'm really excited here. I currently have, I believe the first iMac that was super thin from about two years ago. But we have a pull tab up here and we just pull that tab and uh, lift up right here. And we gotta flip this around. It looks like it opens the other way. So I'm gonna flip this real quick. All right, so there we go. We just pull this right here. This box is huge. So sorry for the weird setup. There's nowhere else I could do this video. This is just huge. And uh, yeah, so I'll pull this to right here. And uh, here we just have the the actual Mac itself. So I'm gonna see how to pull this out. I guess I'll lift this up and then move the box, but I'll do that off video so I don't break something. I'll just probably cut it right here. All right, now we get on to the good stuff. Let's remove this top part first and uh, put that somewhere over there. And then I guess these sides come off like so. And in here we do have the cable for the Mac. So uh, yeah, let's remove the left side. And here we go. This is what we've been waiting for. Now this is gonna be the exact same thing as the last 27 inch model. As far as the actual build quality goes, um, and yeah, so let's flip this around here real quick. And I'm sorry here for this weird setup. I'm telling you, this thing's huge here and it's kind of hard to get on camera, but uh, yeah, let's remove these stickers right here. All right. All right. And then this just goes up. Yep. And there we go. Very smooth and simple. And uh, this, I guess you just, this is to remove the bottom plastic, but let's go ahead and go back to the front. And here we go, this is the iMac right here. So we're gonna go ahead and connect this so uh, we can see the boot up time. So I'll cut right to that. All right, so there we go, I got it connected. And uh, here so you can take a look at the back side. We just have the same ports. We have the SD, the headphone jack, Ethernets and uh, USB as well as the lightning and then we just go ahead and click the button on the left side of the Mac and That should boot it right up So we're gonna see how long it takes here No timer or anything, but it should be faster Than an iMac that doesn't have the fusion drive Because I'm not really sure how much the fusion drive has in flash, but I believe it's like a hundred and something gigs um, so it uses that to help some apps start up faster, the ones that you use the most. And there we go, it's booted up and now we need the mouse. Let's just go ahead and use this real quick. I'm not a fan of the Magic Mouse, I prefer the trackpad all the way. But here we go, I, all I did was turn the switch up and uh, it should connect. There we go, and it's connected. It's gonna ask us for our language. I don't know if you can see that, let me try to zoom this in there. Uh, focus it. I'm not sure if you can see that, but now it's telling me to connect the keyboard. So let's grab that All right, so here it is and we'll throw the paper over there somewhere and we just click this button and It turns right on because it does come with batteries and that should also connect right away But we'll see how long that takes. All right. I think it's ready now. There we go It's connected. All right, so I put down the brightness and I also kind of tilted the computer a little bit so you guys can see it better but uh, here it's just telling me to connect to my Wi-Fi network, which is right here. And we'll enter the uh, password here. One second. I'm holding the keyboard in the air. All right, so now it's telling me if I want to transfer information to this Mac. If you have any important information on any other Mac, you can transfer it to this Mac. And this is Migration Assistant. So uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, actually do a full backup. Um, or you know what, let's just go ahead and continue this and I'll do it afterwards with Migration Assistant again so that you can actually just see. But I'm going to go ahead and log into my iCloud account as most of you guys would and uh, we'll see how long this takes to set up. Now I apologize if this unboxing is taking forever, I'm pretty much uh, 
just doing this for the people that want to see the setup that might have never have gotten an iMac before and used one. So uh, here we go, privacy policy, terms and conditions, yes. All right, so now it's asking me for my account name, which will be the name of my home folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Daniel, just cause it's uh, less text and it might look better when I'm using it. But uh, yeah, time based on our current location and click continue. And uh, I forgot to change the picture, but you could have changed the picture if you wanted to by having clicked edit. But I did not do that. But you can also do that in settings after you set up the computer, so no problem there. I don't want iCloud Keychain. And, uh, no thank you. And there we go, so now it's setting it up. It's pretty much as quick, almost as quick as setting up an iPad or any other Apple device. It's pretty simple and straightforward. And there we go, here we have the iMac with the Retina display. Now this is something obviously you can't see in video. You definitely really have to go to the store or someone that has it to really see how great it looks. But it really does look great and you can take my word for it. Um, obviously if you're someone that works with photos or video or anything like that, this computer is gonna be awesome for that because you of course are getting more pixels in one screen. If you're watching 4K content, of course, this is a 5K screen and uh, yeah, that's full brightness right there. And you might not be able to, there we go. You won't be able to really tell anything there. Uh, but uh, let's go ahead and open here, Finder. Let's go to Applications. All right, so let's go ahead and increase the icon size right here. And um, I mean, it's when you do this, especially go to an Apple store and do this exact same thing. And that's when you'll really see this. You can do this on a normal iMac and you'll see every pixel. It won't look nearly as good. And uh, you, you really cannot see this on the video. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and set this up, guys, and uh, get all my information transferred over so that I'm running the same information on two computers so that I can do the benchmarks and all that good stuff. And then I will come back to you, or maybe I'll make it in a different video. I don't know if I end it here. Then uh, yeah, I've decided to make it in a different video. But yeah, thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. All right guys, so I wanted to add this to the end because I wanted to talk a little bit about Migration Assistant, my whole migrating process from the old iMac to this new iMac. Now I haven't switched iMacs in about two years, so I wasn't really, uh, I didn't really remember what I did or anything like that. I didn't really encounter the same problems that I encountered this time because now I have a lot more files and a lot more applications. But I wanted to give you a few tips and things that I did that's gonna make your experience when you do it a whole lot smoother and uh, just, you know, it's gonna cause less pain and troubles for you. So first of all, this is gonna take a long time if you have a lot of gigabytes worth of storage. Now, uh, the first thing that I recommend is getting a Thunderbolt cable. If you don't have one, they're about 40 bucks and you can always return it after you use it. But uh, basically, it's gonna make the whole thing much faster if both computers have a Thunderbolt port. And uh, I used that the second time because the first time that I did this failed and that's what my other point is about. So you do not want to set up your your new iMac with a new account. As you see at the beginning of this video, I decided to skip that and I said that I would use Migration Assistant afterwards. Do not do that. That's going to cause a lot of problems with permissions in the new iMac and the apps won't transfer over. Your doc's not going to transfer over the exact same way. Your files might not correctly open on the other computer. So you're going to have a lot of troubles. So do not do that. Right when you 70 asks you to set up a user profile or to migrate from another Mac, you want to stay on that and do it then. Now, before you do that, you want to go on your old iMac and open something like Disk Inventory X or Clean My Mac so that it searches your hard drive and shows you what is using the most amount of space. And you want to delete anything you're not using, any trash that you have, any old files. If you have After Effects, you want to delete your cache and things like that that is just taking up too much space and you don't want to make this process take any longer than you need it to. So take your time, hold off on using the new Mac that you bought and uh, do this first, clean your current one and then you can open up Migration Assistant on this one and have the other one already over there in the setup process and then go from there and do that and then choose all your profiles so that everything clones over perfectly. Now if you have any questions about this you can feel free to ask me and I can help you out personally. I know that I had a lot of trouble. I spent a lot of time online searching for answers that I couldn't find. 
Now, if for some reason your computer kind of stalls at the end when it says one minute remaining, and this happens to a lot of people, do not worry, just leave it there. It'll eventually finish. Mine was for about six hours on one minute remaining, and then it finally finished. So just leave it, it'll eventually finish. If you know if it's for 20 hours on one minute remaining, then just quit that thing, shut down the computers, and restart. But you know, you want to do this and uh, you know, do it correctly from the beginning so you don't have any problems and have to wait two or three days to use your Mac like I did. So, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and also comment down below and uh, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And uh, as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.